Well, it's really no different than any other recyclable. It's put in the, uh, the barrel at the curb, it's picked up in the truck like everything else that comes to a facility such as this, and it's collected off our sort line. And obviously, this isn't going to be available in every community right off the bat, right? That is correct, yes. The packing peanuts oh, that yeah. are styrofoam, yes. um, although they are styrofoam, they're extremely difficult to recover. So really what we're looking for is the packaging material and the food service products. Okay. The little peanuts, there's so many thousands of millions of them, we can't recover those. Okay. So those you can uh, recycle oftentimes with the mailboxes, et cetera, and those kind of shipping stores. They'll sure. take them and reuse them. Where, where in the process does this start, be, is this being pulled out? We try to get it on the area we call the pre-sort. As you can see, it's feeding the recyclables into the sorting system itself. Okay, and this is on the other side, this is the pre-sort you were talking about, right? Yes, yes. We've got styrofoam. <laughs> now, what do you call it? I keep saying styrofoam, but... It's, it's called expanded polystyrene. And this is what you guys pulled off today? Yes, we do. Wow, that's a big bag. That's a big bag, but actually, it probably doesn't weigh, weigh more than maybe 10 or 15 pounds. Uh, I guess not, if I can pick it up. <laughs> Front section of the pre-sort, pretty much that's what it is. It's all manual recovery. Uh, we get the cardboard, get the scrap metal, get the trash out. We're getting textiles out. We're getting all kinds of things out here. Polystyrene as well, styrofoam. So what are we doing with all this now? Put it into the grinder. The grinder. Grind it down to small pieces of styrofoam. It'll get put the blower into this tube all the way around over to the densifier itself. Okay, so what's this machine called again? It's called a densifier. It's, and all it's doing is what? It's just densifying the material in a little log coming out of the machine there. And there it just popped wow. out. This big bag right here has all the little pieces from all those little bags. That's, that's true. Yes. Wow. It's going to end up making these bricks, huh? It'll start making the bricks. Like 16 of those bags. It would make one bag worth of... One bag worth of this, uh, huh? Or these things. So once you have the bricks right here and the pallet's full, is your work done? No, we got to market it. we got to find uh, an end user who's going to buy the material from us and then make it into a new product.